All right, guys. So welcome to the MediaTek Smart Device app pairing and troubleshooting guide. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can install and connect your MediaTek Smart Device app to your Android phone. And if you are using an iOS device, these steps are quite similar. And also, if your MediaTek Smart Device app is not connecting, then all this will be addressed too. Without wasting much of your time, let's get down to business. All right, first thing first is to reset your smartphone and your smartwatch. So if you have been trying to link up your MediaTek Smart device on your smartphone to your smartwatch and it's not working, first thing to do is to reset it. And if you are trying for the first time also, reset your smartwatch and your smartphone. So here you swipe left if you are using W26 Plus smartwatch, swipe left and go to the settings, which is similar to every other settings on every watch is out there then you scroll down to the reset option here and you are going to select your reset and you can see this will erase all data from your smartwatch then you select reset and this is going to switch off the smartwatch and switch it on back i restarted the smartphone and i reset the smartwatch now switch on your data your gps and your bluetooth okay once you have done that then let's drop the smartwatch for now and you go to your chrome browser and type in mediatek smart device apk mediatek smart device apk once you search for that you are going to see some places on the internet where you can download your MediaTek Smart Device app. The ones I recommend is this fileepo.com, apkpure.com, and Softonic MediaTek Smart Device app. All right, so let's pick the APK Pure. All right. So we are going to be downloading the latest version of the MediaTek Smart Device from apkpure.com. So as you can see, this is the logo here. And you are going to select Download APK, which is about 7.3 megabytes. So we download. And you select the download. You are going to see Download File. I've already downloaded this. That's why it's asking me. So if you are downloading it afresh, you are not going to see Download again. So you download. Now it has been downloaded so we open the file and install it on our smartphone okay select the next and install option as you can see it is installing now the app has been installed as you can see then you can now open it once it is complete with the scanning okay so complete open enable notification you are going to enable this press ok at the notification access page you are going to toggle on the notification access for mediatek smart device and you select allow when you select allow then you can go back and you are ready to connect your mediatek smart device app to your w26 plus smartwatch or your smartwatch that you are using now at this stage please i want to tell you that, that the mediatek smart device app and the m active app sometimes conflict so i will advise you to delete the m active app for now for this mediatek smart device app to work well if you are having both apps on your phone you need to delete one of the two which, which is the m active app so you are deleting this m active app you uninstall this so that it won't conflict with our W26 Plus uninstalled MATIF. So I've done that. Now we can now continue with our connection of our MediaTek Smart Device Hub. So let me just clean up this. All right. Now we can now launch our MediaTek Smart Device Hub and select Plus. Once you have selected the plus sign, you can scroll down to see if you can locate your watch 6 on this list. Then you come to your smartwatch and scroll down and select this Bluetooth icon. As you can see, the 
Bluetooth power is off, then you switch it on by selecting it. It's now on. Then now look at your media text my device list if your watch 6 is out can we find our watches not yet so if you're having issues like this all you have to do is just to try and try again now you can see our watches down here it does now show up down here then you select your watches and you're going to see that it's going to connect as you can see here with watch 6 and with the code allow then you peer up so you are going to select peer up now you are going to select peer up now and you can see the watch has been connected to our our smartphone okay so that is just how to connect your mediatek smart device app to your watch 6 and if you are still having the issue continually then i will advise you to do one thing let me disconnect this once you are at the watch face like this, at this page, then just come to this switch mode here, okay? Toggle it and it's going to switch to GAAT mode. Then you can now scan your watch 6, okay? When you scan it, it's now going to show your watch 6 on your MediaTek Smart Device list. As you can see, my watch 6 pop up again. Then you select it and it's going to connect to your W26 Plus smartwatch. As you can see, it's trying to connect. Now it has connect. So that is how to connect your MediaTek smart device app to your Watch 6. And if you want to know how to make your MediaTek smart device apps change watch faces for you, then you can check the video right on your screen right now. You are going to see how to put your MediaTek smart device watch faces on your smartwatch and down in the description I'm going to put the links for this MediaTek smart device app download okay so you can go there and download any of this uh, you can download from any of these links down there and if you have any issue or question please drop it down there in the comment section and I will reply you as soon as possible I remember button the motor and I'll see you on the next one please stay safe bye for now Peace.